Hi Cancer, welcome to your April horoscope. The month starts out with Venus retrograde until the 16th and Venus rules your finances and also your relationships. So it's an opportunity for re-evaluating relationships and very often somebody from your past comes back into your life often to resolve a situation, sometimes to resuscitate a relationship, but often for an opportunity for closure in order for you to be able to move on more freely. For your finances, it's a very good time for getting a bargain. And goodness gracious, cancers, if there's one sign that really roots out for bargains, it's cancers, because you're very good negotiators usually. And so if you're looking for antiques, if you're looking something that it, for something that is not a, a luxury item or a high ticket item, this is a great time for really uh, finding something quite special for very little money. Now this Venus retrograde for you begins just the first couple of the month in the 10th house. So, and especially because there's a lot of activity in this 10th house for you, uh, Cancer, um, an opportunity to reassess, am I enjoying my work? Am I enjoying what I'm doing? And if not, that Venus retrograde, chances are, is going to say, show you what you're not enjoying and give you an opportunity to uh, uh, make some changes so that your work or whatever it is that you're doing in this world is giving you more pleasure. Then it retrogrades into your ninth house and uh, joining the energy of Neptune there. So, what have you been dreaming about? Have you been dreaming of meeting somebody from a different culture, from a different place, maybe connecting with people internationally, maybe growing a business internationally? This Venus retrograde, great time for really reconnecting with your dreams about also possibly travel. Where have you always wanted to travel to, but not gone yet? This Venus retro, retro may trigger those dreams again, so that when it goes direct, you may actually make some more serious plans. And if Venus retro wasn't enough, we've also got Mercury going retrograde on the 10th of the month until the 4th of May. Usual things apply. Leave more time when you're going places. Try not to sign important contracts. If you do need to sign an important contract, really check it over very carefully. And do remember to back up that hard drive. So Mercury retro here in your 11th and then go back into your 10th house. Um, an opportunity to reevaluate maybe some of your friendships, your social circle, the people around you. Good time maybe um, to restructure the way in which you uh, make friendships or connect with new networks of people. And again, it could bring people from your past or people that you've worked with before and maybe not got in touch with for a while. It'd be a good time to resuscitate some of those contacts during this retrograde. On the 11th of the month, we've got a full moon in Libra happening here with Jupiter in your fourth house. This is shining a light for you uh, lovely Cancerians on everything to do with your home, your family. Uh, maybe it's time for a move coming up during this year, possibly. Uh, maybe it's time for a change in your environment in some way. With Jupiter emphasizing it, it could be an expansion of your environment. Maybe um, something happening with family, a growing family, um, but and also possibly some good fortune happening with a family member. It could also mean a lesson, something that you learn from your family. It's like maybe it's been painful, but you've learned something and now you've grown and you won't repeat those same so-called um, difficulties, challenges in your life because you've learned something valuable. On the 20th of the month, we've got the sun <clears throat> uh, coming into Taurus here into your uh, 11th house, shining a light on your dreams, your wishes. It's not that far from your birthday. So what are you dreaming? What are you hoping for? And it's really shining a light on that. So time to really think about that, especially this Mercury retrograde, giving you an opportunity maybe to, to, to write about it 
and to share some of it, maybe on some of the social networks. On the 22nd of the month, we've got Mars coming into your 12th house. And Mars in the 12th house, it's an opportunity really to look at how you're dealing with your emotions, how you deal with your reactions to situations. Are you very reactive and jumping off and uh, being affected by things that people say and do? How can you um, cool that a little? Yes, well, with all these retros, it's a wonderful opportunity. It's not a bad placement to have Mars in that 12th, actually, with the retrograde energy, because what it hopefully means is that you won't rush into something. And with Mercury retrograde, you'll think about it very carefully before moving ahead. And on the 26th of the month, we've got a lovely new moon happening up in this 11th house. So big focus on this 11th house. And with Pluto uh, having a trine energy to it from your relationships, there may be an opportunity to really meet somebody that you, you feel very magnetized to. You feel a very strong attraction. And this could be a friendship. It could be a romantic relationship. It could be a business connection. And it could also be a group of people that you feel you resonate with. It's like finding your tribe. So it's an exciting month ahead, dear Cancerians. Don't push against the energy. A lot of retrograde motion. So if things aren't moving, just relax and chill for an hour or two and then see what's happening. Have a wonderful month. Thank you for commenting and sharing and subscribing.